What's up guys, my name is Miles, or Sebastian Stratman, or Q Carlo, however you know me. Um, this is gonna be a very clippy kind of vlog, and I hope I can make it as enjoy as possible. So, to explain, I lost most of my vlog footage um, on my laptop because we had to sell it to get a tire on, uh, get a new tire, but I'll explain that more. This story starts in uh, St. George, Utah. We moved in with um, a couple buddies of ours uh, into a motel after being evicted from Cedar City, Utah at another motel that uh, Megan worked at, my fiance. Megan and I both got jobs um, immediately after coming to uh, St. George, but my uh, my buddy and his roommate were struggling to find jobs and waiting on a stimulus check. So when it came down to paying for the next week of the motel, um, we didn't have the payment. So they went to stay at their grandparents and we were going to stay in our van. But there wasn't much point to do that anymore. There was some issues and I won't, I won't get into, but it was some bullshit. Um, we really shouldn't have broke our friendship over whatever it was. But anyway, after leaving the motel, um, we just decided, um, fuck it, and we're gonna go to California. So we had a plan, we had uh, $80 to get from St. George, Utah to um, Joshua Tree, California. So this is how everything turned out. It's pretty damn good. My mushrooms are pretty damn crisp. But damn, we pack a flavor, for sure. Hell yeah. We did make it. We got to Joshua Tree, and it was awesome. Um, besides the fact that it was $60 a week to stay there. You couldn't cook meals over an open flame. I couldn't even use the grill that I bought. Um, it just wasn't going to work out. So, we went left Joshua Tree and went to Palm Springs. Um, this is so good. Like, I forgot. Like, the last time I had this was probably like six years ago at Disneyland. And it just tastes so good that you want to drink it, you know? Big facts. Like, you just want to get pineapple juice. Mm, you know? I'm about to slide through. Um, parked in a free parking place and walked around looking for jobs. We got a job at Santorini Greek Grill. I was a dishwasher, Megan was a prep cook. We worked for 12 hour days for about a week and a half and it was straight. Uh, we did not have a single day off. Um, it was pretty gnarly but we made about two grand. Um, when we got the two grand, we bought camping gear. We had to do Slab City, California. All right, so we've like hella been looking for the forward to this. And Megan is a big fucking hard person, so this is fucking huge for her. Uh, I'll show you. This is what's super, super big about the Slab City. It's this ginormous piece of freaking art, dude. It's, whoa. Um, Slab City is a big hippie commune. It's it's just great. Um, it's uh, another land, but some things happened in Palm Springs that made it to where we really needed to be able to leave and really needed to get our mind straight. I just got accepted to coast to coast competitions for uh, my music, and it was gonna be it's it's a really really big deal. It's something that could. Uh, give my music a lot of attention that could um, even perform in a record deal, anything, even if I didn't win, there's so many, so many things that could happen if I go to that show. <sighs> this is where the story gets a little bit darker. We made the decision after running out of money here in Slap City um, to go to San Diego.
so now we are at the San Diego Park, County Park, and uh, about to eat some McDonald's. And uh, yeah, it's just a pond and cute park, and I know there's quite a few things to do from what I've seen on Google Maps. This is gonna be our little picnic spot. So there's actually a movie being filmed here or something with like a slow motion jogger with a really like Kim Kardashian size behind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at a high point, Hawk's Nest. We went to San Diego. We uh, drove all the way there the uh, three hours. It wasn't that bad. Um, but getting there, we realized that uh, we found out that San Diego has a law that where you can't park in a place for more than a certain amount of time, and that's anywhere. And overnight, you can you are not allowed. It is illegal, and you can be fined for staying in your van or your car overnight in any parking, street parking, Walmart parking. It doesn't matter if it was Walmart. The nearest place was about um, to park was about 50 miles away, and it was always packed. Um, so it was gonna be a struggle. I got a job immediately. I already had a job going up there. Like I made sure I had a job so we weren't screwed when we got up there. I got it, it was gonna be a serving position. I was gonna make money quick, but we had nowhere to sleep. Nowhere to sleep. After the first, yeah, after the first night of sleeping in San Diego, we got a flat tire. We had two nails in our tire and it was a bad situation. We I even drove on it on accident and then I immediately realized and pulled into like a alley. We had no idea that alley um, was right next to a mechanics um, shop like three yards away. After freaking out for hours, my phone wasn't working. It was water damaged from going to the beach before. Um, they told me that they could help me out, get my spare on, jack it up and do all that. So that's what we did. Um, we got the spare on, but we should, we were not going to be able to get to Slab City again, uh, get back to Slab City on just a spare. So we had to come up with some kind of money to get a new tire. The mechanic actually gave us um, $50 to help us out, and like we both almost broke down. Well, Megan did break down crying, and I almost did too. Um, for him, he had no idea who we were. Like We were just a couple of kids to him. Um, with Utah plates and going to Slab City, Utah. He gave us 50 bucks, so that was pretty crazy. Shout out to him if he ever sees this. Um, we didn't have enough money for the tire and for the oil change and for the balance and for the rotation that we would require for only getting one new tire. Um, it was around a $200 total. So we went to the pawn shop, sold my, sold our laptop, which had all my music, all the vlogs, all everything. I didn't have time, we didn't have an ability to transfer the files at that time there was no way we needed to get going because if we stayed there that night we were going to get towed um, parking police were already swarming us twice uh, so we sold the laptop got the tire paid for everything that we needed and left with $23 left in our pocket and we were supposed to come back with more like two grand again so we're back in Slab City. Um, I'm not gonna be vlogging anymore after this. This is the vlog. Uh, I, like I said, it's not nothing special, but it's an explanation. I don't know where I'm going from here. I don't know where we're going from here. I, right now, I can't make it to my concert. I can't make it to LA. I don't have the money. I don't have the gas. I don't think the van should be driven uh, back and forth that much, especially if we're living in the van, which is what we're doing right now. Um, we got a long road ahead of us, and I hope, I hope I didn't make the wrong decision. I hope that God and the universe plays out in the best way, and I know that this is the correct decision, or I can have, or I can see a new path to something better. But right now, life isn't so bad. I just really wish I could get to my concert. But I hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll continue having some. <laughs> See you guys.
a snitch, you a gangster. I got these demons, they come out in paper. So when I am writing the Reapers, my danger and the memory I have, you they haunted me later. I know I will never be one of the majors. I smoke my shit up like a joint and saver. I wish I was normal, not a convict or tweaker. Just to be stable, I always smoke reefer. I smoke as much as you wear.